What's up guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. Today in front of me I have the Maker Pi M1 Mini. We're gonna unbox this, so let's get started. So, looks like we might want to tip this box over on its side to slide it out. Inside the packaging, looks like we've got an instruction manual, an SD card, and some filament, as well as some Bowden tube. And here it looks like we've got power supply or power cord. Seems like a built-in power supply. And the printer itself. Now this printer has a 100 by 100 by 100 build volume. Looks like we have another little test print here. A USB cable. And we have a USB reader. So that's what you get inside the package. Okay guys, now that I've got the printer all assembled, which required just installing the Bowden tube, which is pretty straightforward as you all know, I have already run into a little bit of an issue. It's making a funny noise right now and binding on the axis, but to home it, you just click and hold this, let go and it homes. So I am experiencing a little bit of binding on the Z axis, so I'm actually gonna take this down to the tech room and, and take a look at it and see what's going on and run some test prints as well. Um, so my first thoughts are, is this just maybe in shipping or something happened, but I am experiencing some binding. So I am gonna take it down and uh, see what I can't do. But we are gonna run some test prints on this and we'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so a couple of things here, we'll have Jaren zoom in. It has a Wi-Fi plug, so I'm not sure if this is USB for what, I'm not sure yet, I'll have to see. But for unloading and loading your printer, it's just a switch on the back to load, unload, and print. So once the SD card's in there, you just press the button once when it's in the print mode, and it'll start to print. I don't see any way to level the bed, so I can only assume that your Z end stop is how you would get your first layer height. Now this machine by default prints a raft. So we did some Matter Hackers astronauts and two of the cats. What do I think personally of this printer? It's great for potentially a child. Uh, it's not gonna be good for somebody like myself or maybe somebody who works here or somebody who wants to get into 3D printing for functionality. Uh, it would be a good little stepping stool for your children and yourself maybe to learn, but as a usable 3D printer for everyday use, I don't think it would hit the mark that we need personally here at 3D Printing Canada. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.